Welcome to Black Spring. How smart is your home these days? Do you have clap on switches? Do you have a smart assistant when you're away from home to turn off the iron or heating or cooling system in your home? Do you feel better knowing that there's an all seeing eye or a virtual ear or that you are in control? remotely in control, that is. In this installment, we will take a look at an article with findings that might surprise you, or you might think, you know, I'm indifferent and I have nothing to hide, or I'm completely indifferent. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this segment of Black Spring with Autumn, and I will be taking you to our vetted source on this segment of Black Spring with Autumn. Thank you so much. A word from our friends at the JBS. This segment of our show is brought to you by our good friends at the John Birch Society. Less government, more responsibility, but with God's help, a better world. The JBS is a constitutional and educational organization that's been around for over 60 years, dedicated to upholding and defending the Constitution and working to preserve our freedoms and liberties in this country. The JBS does not endorse any political party or candidates. Rather, it focuses on the education, training, and development of the American voters. Thank you so much for tuning in to this segment of Black Spring with Autumn. And I will be taking you to a clip from our vetted source, The New American. And this particular clip or article is brought to you and written by C. Mitchell Shaw of the TNA. Now here, apparently Google Home quote smart end quote speaker caught spying on users. Now, according to this, the popular Google Home quote smart device that allows users to perform voice searches and automate other smart devices in their homes has just been caught spying on users. Now, of course, while this is no surprise to privacy advocates who have long warned others this was the case, it is now an incontrovertible fact. Now, this is coming from a report, the independent, I will paraphrase here, reported Tuesday, a user on Reddit posted that his Google Home quote smart in quote speaker sent a notification to his phone that his smart, his smoke alarm was going off in his house. The problem was not a quote smart in quote internet connected smoke alarm, but a cheap $10 quote dumb in quote alarm. Now the notification was sent because the Google home speaker heard the alarm going off and recognized it. Okay, of course, that means as this writer has said before that this device is always listening and contrary to popular belief and Google's previous claims, it's not just listening for the typical, quote, OK, Google, end quote, and, quote, hey, Google, end quote, commands. It is simply always listening and sending what it hears to Google services. So with that said, I'll give you the instance here. Now, of course, this is not a one time or apparently isolated incidents. Another independent report or a user reported getting alerts for the sound of glass breaking, popped bubble wrap, an air compressor tank, and other high pitched noises that sound like alarms. Now, of course, the Google spokesperson said in a feature that this was an accidentally enabled through recent software updates, you know, the typical bug, the typical bug or glitch, you know, response or rebuttal. But 
according to this article, it says, wait, did you catch that? Google's explanation, read excuse, is that this was caused by an update that, quote, accidentally, end quote, turned on a feature. Okay, and here's a pro tip for folks over at Google that if the, quote, feature, end quote, did not exist in the first place, it could not have been accidentally activated. And there is the rub, okay? So of course, this kind of dates, this all dates back to a previous report on Google's vision for a future of quote, smart and quote, home devices. As this writer reported in November, 2018, Google had filed patents to accomplish exactly what it now claims was an accident. Okay, so according to recently disclosed patents, Google is preparing to take quote, surveillance as a feature in quote, to a whole new level with devices in every room of users homes to watch, listen, and analyze every word and action. So there you have it. You know, you may have had concerns about maybe you were interested yourself in purchasing one of these devices, but you should keep in mind that you're, you're, making a bit of a compromise. You're compromising your, not only your privacy, for security, but you're not, you know, it raises concerns of what the information could be used for. And I would imagine that that would be, be a violation, a violation of trust and a violation of steward on behalf of Google. So we have more accounts here that in previous articles, it reveals that text of the patents show that Google's too much is never enough attitude toward your personal data. The recently publicized patents reveal that the surveillance hawks at Google apparently don't think enough is enough. In fact, those patents show that the new technology in Google's often blows past anything the company has done up to this point. The new technology includes integration of cameras, microphones, and other sensors that would allow those devices to work together to monitor the comings and goings using sensors on doors as well as cameras and microphones of people in homes equipped red bugged with the devices. The cameras and microphones would allow the devices and Google's servers to recognize people and objects and analyze the significance of the presence of those people and objects. So, so while Google, a surveillance company masquerading as a search engine tech company claims that this recent episode was an accident. It is plain that this quote accident has been long in the planning and the company's dog-eared excuse of quote software bugs in quote and accidental glitches caused by upgrades is getting tired and thin. Another case in point, three months after the writer reported on Google's patents described above, Google put hidden microphones in Nest quote smart in quote home alarm systems and did not inform users of the microphones. So nothing on the packing, the manual, or any advertising made any mention of the microphones. Okay, so here what you have is something that we've talked about on this channel many times. We've talked about the surveillance or the, you know, the, the paradigm in this world of more of a state surveillance or all survey, all seeing eye. This is another example of that, of the type of surveillance and, and the type of non-disclosures that you may not be privy to as a customer of Google or any other product, smart product. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have, do you have nothing to hide? Are you feeling safer because you have these devices in your home or, or are you just indifferent either way? And once again, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me on this segment of Black Spring with Autumn. Let me know what you think in the comments, what your concerns are. And if you could take care to hit that like, unlike button, I'll greatly appreciate it. And thanks so much for joining me on this segment of Black Spring with Autumn.